back to you. As you know, the PAC uh, conducted their, the, the review after the uh, Navy Yard shooting. That review led to 13 specific recommendations to improve uh, clearance, uh, the clearance process. Has the intelligence community fully uh, complied and addressed those recommendations? Congressman, um, the PAC collectively has been working to implement the full set of recommendations from the review following the Navy Heart. Um, in my prior role at OMB, when I was the chair of the PAC, in my current role as acting director of OPM, we've been working closely with our colleagues in the DNI, for example, to put in place pilots of continuous evaluation, to implement new federal investigative standards, to improve access. So the are you so saying are they working, have or have not we been are, fully implemented? We are, we are working through the process. The timetable for full implementation is not, we are still in that process, but we are actively working that and actively managing it through the PAC. So it's not yet been uh, fully implemented, but and you do not have a time frame when there that are, would be complete? There are different time frames for different elements. So one of the elements was to actually have continuous evaluation pilots in place. We have those in place. DOD has done some that's covered hundreds of thousands of people. The investigative standards. All right, can you give us a general time frame? Some of the elements are already do. Some last till 2017. I can. I am happy to provide you. We report please, on performance. Please provide that, and let's to, let's carry on. But please provide we, that information. Happy to do that, sir. Um, or the Navy Yard shooter had multiple previous arrests, uh, and yet was still somehow able to obtain clearance. Um, how, how can this be? Congressman, there are real challenges in getting complete and comprehensive records from local law enforcement. Um, some of those are due to the challenges that the local law enforcement has in their own record. Okay, there's those been recommendations to work and improve that process with state and local uh, criminal records. When is that process going to improve? That process has seen improvement. Um, I can cite examples from New York City, from um, we track actually. I don't want examples. I, I want when, uh, when are we going to see that enormous gap closed? We are continuing to work with law enforcement. The records are their records. Things like Congress gave us with the NDAA that gives background investigators greater access to, to records that was implemented last year will be one step in helping us. But we have to work this through with local law enforcement to make That's sure the they've got the system. That's the whole point. The local law enforcement, when is that relationship going to be resolved so that information can be readily made available so that we don't have people like the Navy Yard shooter Congressman, we are, we are working actively with local law enforcement. In fact, we have we okay, had a listen, task that, force, and we are going to continue that. That is a that. really cheap answer. We're working actively. We're working actively, and yet, uh, please provide that for us. I want as much specifics as you can provide without rambling I'm happy on this to issue. Provide you that. All right, have, have the revised 2012 federal investigative standards been fully implemented? We have implemented those through Tier 3. The rest of them are on schedule to be implemented over the next year and two, I believe. I don't have the specific timeline, but we have okay. implemented the Tier 3, for example, this fall. Okay. Uh, another recommendation uh, in, involved the detection of false information that was submitted by applicants. As you may recall, Snowden, for example, uh, said that he had worked for the U.S. government for six years. Investigators and all that never contacted any co-workers. They never got any Further details, the Navy Yard shooter had serious mental health problems. Uh, what is being done to verify applicants' information more complete and in a more effective manner? So there's a number of steps that we've put in place to increase the accuracy. I can go through the specifics and probably get that back to you in terms of each of those elements because that involves work with the different agents. I don't have the details of that right here. All but right, I can so get you, that to you. Uh, it, it doesn't it seem that that would be information that you would have? I want to make sure that my response to you in, is accurate in terms of exactly the specifics of the progress we've made, sir. Okay, when we're talking about applicants putting false information and no one checking it, that is that seems like that would be information, if it's being corrected, that would be right on the top of your head. I would appreciate you getting that information to us ASAP. Uh, my time has expired, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, and I yield back.
The gentleman yields back. Uh, the chair now recognizes uh, the congressman from California, uh, and I appreciate uh, his efforts uh, on this issue. Uh, Mr. Liu. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the hearings last year in the Oversight Committee uh, exposed fundamental weaknesses in our nation's IT infrastructure.